Okay, we drove out and we're about to leave Petty Jean State Park. This was a great way to start our adventure today. So I guess this is a good time as any to say hello adventurers and welcome back to my channel. We're about to hit the road and head out to another adventure here in Arkansas. And I only have a short time with my friends left, so I'm really sad, but we're gonna make the most of it while we're all here. So I'm the only one who has cell service here with AT&T, so I'm gonna plan us a little map and then we're off. Okay, all fueled up. And now, back on the road we go. We're driving toward Bentonville today and it's about two hours from this location. I did go ahead and grab a little snack because I'm kind of hungry. So I grabbed a couple of these little fruit bars. Man, it's a little windy outside today. So as I'm driving, I feel like the box is kind of going like this. And I've learned something that like, I like to favor on the side of caution when I drive, just because I do have the top part and it moves around a little bit and stuff like that. But I'm noticing that more and more people use the speed limit as a suggestion rather than, you know, what we're actually supposed to do of that's the maximum. So, you know, it's kind of weird. Oh no, oh no. I, I think I might've almost hit a bug. Right after I cleaned the windshield, whatever shall I do? So our map is saying about two hours and two minutes, 141 miles. And I think we're just waiting on Riley to come out of the store. Dee is already ready already. And she and I just compared our maps. You might be surprised how many times we do compare maps just to make sure we're all on the same page. Because when you travel with two people, you can just talk on walkies. But with a third person not having a walkie, it makes it a little bit more difficult. So we just sit here and chatter back and forth to make sure every stop that we're still on the same page. And it's so far so good. Oh, Riley, are you there? Yes, I am. Are you ready to roll out? Let's roll. Woot, 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 woot. We finally made it to Bentonville and they're doing a lot of construction. So parking was just hard. Now I think we're all in the same place. I have no idea though if we can park here. So I gotta make sure, but um, oh, construction in smaller areas makes it hard. Okay, we're starting off at the 21C Hotel and Museum and here you can find a lot of cool art. So we're just gonna take in some of the art enjoy ourselves and possibly have some food. We'll figure that out in a minute. LBO is on the loose. There she is. 
Okay, so we just went and ate lunch and it was delightful, but now we're checking out the Walmart Heritage area, which is a museum that is a temporary exhibit until the end of the year, whenever the regular museum opens again. And I am excited because I've been to the regular one and I was very confused whenever we went downtown and saw that it was under construction. Then we found out this place is here and so it's a smaller display, but some cool stuff in here. Now, as you browse through the collections here, this is again, a small amount, but there's a lot of touch screens that tell you the story of Sam Walton and the Walton family and why Bentonville is a place that you need to come to find out more. Believe it or not, the original Walmart was not a Walmart, it was a Waltons, but the first Walmart was in Rogers, which is just down the road, just a little bit. So pretty cool. Now, this is potentially one of the coolest things though. He was given the Presidential Medal of Freedom and they have it on display right here. He was given that by Bush one in 1992 and you can find all of that in these cases. It is just really neat to be able to see the legacy of a single man and his dream to do something to bring discount stores to small rural America. But why? Because people in smaller areas should have access to things too. And that was his goal, was to bring those things to regular everyday people. Now, Walmart has grown, obviously. It's everywhere now. But at the time, this was not a store that was everywhere. It was sometimes a long drive to get to a regular store that had clothing and groceries and supplies and things like that. So he made things accessible to regular everyday people who were in more remote areas. And because of that, now we have Walmarts. Kind of cool. Our lives are nauseous. It's wonderful to be awarded and recognized. We've had a lot of great leaders in this company. And if we can, why, we're all at the cost of women for everyone. Not just in America, but we're in the world. Another pretty interesting thing that you might not consider is that the accessibility here is kind of nice because they have things for all ages. They have interactive elements like the guy in the back there. You might notice that Sam Walton. Um, Sam Walton is not actually present here, obviously, but you wouldn't know that if you saw that thing. That's wild. Now this is one of the more interesting exhibits here. This is the returned items and some of the reasoning behind the returned items like this one that doesn't sharpen ink pens <laughs> or the one in the back says it never had the correct time but you know the customer is always right we're about to go back outside it's super windy we had some lunch at a really nice cafe um, it was italian it was so windy though that like our napkins were trying to blow away uh, Bentonville is a neat little place though. I enjoy coming here. There's a lot of cool artsy things. The museum that we went to earlier was actually a hotel also. Um, along the way you'll find all sorts of amazing, incredible murals. In fact, we found this one. You can see there's two fish, right? It just looks simple enough. But the closer that you get, the more that you realize it looks like it's in motion. And that one was one of my favorites because it actually symbolizes the amount of people who enjoy kayaking. And so it's a parks and wildlife representation and the small fish is how many people enjoyed kayaking in 2006 versus 2020 the large fish and it's created out of these little tiny little like glitter balls kind of they're these little stainless steel discs and they're attached to the wall and as the wind comes along it looks like it adds motion which mimics the water which is pretty cool but we're about to go outside and see what else we can find as we venture back toward the vehicles there's a lot of construction going on here in Bentonville so it makes it a little bit harder to kind of maneuver around in the vehicle so walking is my best bet
like this. <laughs> and if you go in from the bottom, this is how we, we do, do it. it. <laughs> it's the shape of Arkansas on the top. Look at that, it's so cute, Dee. You're, you're so tiny. I mean, you are tiny, but now you're super tiny. How hard is this for you, Dee? Tyson looks traumatized. Oh my goodness, your legs are so short and little. Look at the little legs. D, are you going to slide backwards? No. Don't slide. No slidey slidey. Let's start by pulling up our hands. <laughs> like up to our, this part. Oh, the hole is big. It's so hard to not follow <laughs> the hole. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> A little bunny. <laughs> <gasps> wow. We are about to head to the Cracker Barrel in Springdale and it's not the perfect way to do a send off from a not so beautiful place. I'd much rather stay at a really pretty place, but there's just not a lot available in this area and it's a weekend, so it's even harder. So that's where we're gonna go. It'll be fine. We're hanging out in Dee's van since Dee's leaving us tomorrow. Wow. But it has been so fun. Yes. We made it to the Cracker Barrel. We're outside of it right now, just trying to like keep a little bit cooler because it's warm. Even Tyson is here. Yes, that, that's you, the moving bump. So yeah, we're just gonna do this and that's gonna be our night. No biggie. If you guys have not seen Dee's setup, you should definitely see it because go check out her channel, definitely, because I'm sitting in one of the most comfortable chairs that really makes me want to reconfigure my van once again. I'm not sure what's gonna happen with that. I've got some things that I wanna change, but that's not here nor there. I've still got some travel ahead, so I'm just gonna lounge and we're gonna enjoy one last night of company. So the door is open, Riley has joined me. You'll notice there's no red LBO over here anymore. She left us. And this Cracker Barrel treated us pretty well. That's it. That's it. I don't I don't know what else to say. That's it. <laughs>